a brand new walkthrough. This time I am doing Babylon is Fallen. And I do not recommend playing this game. Simply because it has crash issues. Every time you go to the inventory it crashes. So uh, for your viewing pleasure, I am playing it for you. So you can see what it's like. So one way I deal with the crash issue is to continuously go in and out of the uh, the inventory for quite a while. So I've already started this up and been messing around with it, so hopefully it won't crash. Also you can... I like to spice it up with the pause menu. And saving also helps, I think, every so often, so I'm going to save right at the very start. And also in the statistics there are 70 secrets, it says, which implies it's a very long game. It's really not. Um, also, there are not 70 secrets, so I don't know why it says that. I've looked into this. There are 13. Just 13. So it's it's a, a lengthy game, but it's not long enough to have about 70. You know, your average Tomb Raider length game. So, let's get on with this before it crashes. <laughs> so, if you come forward, there's a, a door here. And how to open that door is you come to this funny looking block in the corner and you push it in. Okay, so now that door's open. So if we run through... Whoops. I'm stuck. Here we go. You can see there's something to pick up there, but I'm not going to pick it up yet. Because over here, you see the small med pack in this gap. Uh, okay. That is secret one. We already have secret one. How cool is that? Oh, can't get out now. I'm stuck again. Oh, come on, Lara. What are you doing? Okay, I'm out. And if we approach it and grab it... Whoa! So here's Lara, there we go. And I also like to save it here, just in case. So continue along, and seemingly we're at a dead, a dead end. Round there is a closed door. And to open the door, there is a jump switch up here. It's not easy to get into this spot because of the block. So just pull that and now this door is open. So there's no pickups between landing and going through this door. And let me quickly show you. The pistols look a bit like magnums. Wait till you hear what they sound like. They sound so powerful. It's awesome. Right, so to avoid this guard, just stand over in this corner and he doesn't really know what to do. I don't know why. He's never gone down there before. Where are you? Come back. I just want to shoot you. There you are. Okay. And he drops a key. So if you may still be having crash issues at the start, make sure you do save because sometimes it crashes when you use the key. So, using the key quite successfully. And all there is in this room is... is... excuse me... where are you? That's your cue. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, so now, yes, if <laughs> if the monkey doesn't come out, just go in and it should come out. So, also, now this gate is open. It wasn't before I used the key, but it is now, and there's some flares. Now if we go to the door that it showed that had opened, still no pickups in this room. So, come straight through, the gate opens for you. And now, see that door through there, that's the main area we want to be in. So for now, I will just show you this room so you can see what's in it. So, on each side, there looks like a button. But they're actually receptacle. We won't be coming back to this until very close to the end of the game. So for now, we have nothing to do in this room. So we need to open that gate in front of Lara now. So climb up to here. And be at this plant here. It's the possibly the best place to try and jump from. You need to jump and grab the ledge just there. So run and jump. And try and curve to the right. Oh, oh crikey. Curve round. Uh, as you jump. It's not an easy jump. It can take quite a few attempts. Okay. Sometimes she actually lands inside the gap. Try again. Okay, got it that time. So just shimmy along until you get to this area where you can pull up and stand and just jump over to here and now inside this room here all there is is are these shotgun shells so we won't be coming in this room we won't be opening that door and coming back there is nothing else in this room so we make your way out and to this side you want to run and jump to this gap and be sure to grab in the air, otherwise she knocks her head on that, that wall. And here is the lever that opens that lower door. And before we drop down, the opposite side in this little corner, there are some flares and some arrows, which means we will be getting a crossbow in this game. It's very cool, I love the crossbow. Unfortunately, there's no explosive arrows in this game. There's uh, poison arrows, which are the ones I've picked up, and there are normal arrows. The poison arrows have thick grey ends. The normal ones have white ends. So the very first thing we want to do... Actually, before that, there are a couple of things in the water. So at the far end, there's some shotgun shells. And opposite, there are some arrows, some normal tipped arrows. Okay. So now I've got them, we can do the very first order of business. So come straight to the back of the room. And we can see lots of fire. So on that pedal store there, there is a key being very heavily guarded. So we won't be getting the key in this video, but I will save that for the next video. But what we need is a crowbar right now, which is in that room, and the door is timed. So you may have seen the lever already, if you've got very keen eyes. So the lever is literally right here. So I'm going to save my game, just in case. So what you want to do, pull it, hop back, and she will do her... Oh, well, she... It's alright, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait till next time. Usually it goes back to her animations when she starts moving. So I'll do it again. You want to jump back and then jump left. There we go. 
Now you want to sprint and roll under the fire. Fantastic. Okay. First attempt. And technically, this is a sword, but we only use it as a crowbar. So, the idea of this room here, you need to turn off all the traps, and you need to collect cogs to do that. You need to place the cogs once you've collected them. But, I will be leaving that until the next video. So, I'm very sorry to say that this is where I'm ending the video. I'm very sorry, it's a very short video, kind of a, an introductory level. So I hope you've enjoyed part one, and I do hope you come and watch part two. Thanks a lot, see you soon guys.